Welcome to Internet Quality Academy. The channel is for the quality control engineer, site engineer, and the civil engineer who are working in the construction field. In this channel, we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction industry. Today also, I'm going to discuss about a very important topics or the basic topics for the civil engineer. That is what is nominal cover, what is effective cover, what is the clear cover. Whenever we are working on the project on the site, we came across with these terms and we need to provide this clear cover into our structure. So why it is providing and what is that, we will know in this video in details. And if you are new in my channel, kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get immediate notification so without wasting time let's jump into the subject ये nominal cover effective cover ये clear cover क्या है क्यों हम लोगों को इसको जानने का है और इसका purpose क्या है इन इस structure में देने का so देखते हैं हम एक कर एक एक के बाद so first thing what is nominal cover ये मेरे को first जानने का है जो what is nominal cover now कैसे जानेंगे इसके लिए हमारा IS 456 है ये IS 456 का क्लॉज नंबर 26.4.1 इसमें डिटेल्स में दिया है ये नॉमिनल कवर क्या है देखो इसमें लिखा है नॉमिनल कवर इज द डिजाइन डेप्थ ऑफ कंक्रीट कवर टू ऑल स्टीनरी रिइंफोर्समेंट इंक्लूडिंग रिंग्स लिंक्स दैट मींस इट इज द क्लियर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन बिटवीन आउटर फेस ऑफ द कंक्रीट टू द आउटर फेस ऑफ द लिंक्स सो इट इज नॉट अबाउट द मेन रिइंफोर्समेंट इट इज अबाउट द Links. That means if it is main main reinforcement here, and we are calculating from the main reinforcement, then it will not be the nominal cover. Nominal cover outer face of the concrete surface to outer face of the links. That means it is the clear area throughout the structure. There will be no steel reinforcement. That is the nominal cover. Is the clear distance from the outer face of the concrete to the outer face of the links. So this is the nominal cover as per IS 456. Now, what is the purpose of the nominal cover? First things, it is the durability concern. What is the durability concern? That is, we need to know first what is durability. Durability is that how the concrete will behave whenever it is exposed to the environment. It is obvious that whenever we are doing the concrete, it will expose to the environment. Now, the, according to the environmental condition, during hot, during uh, winter or uh, a tidal area or the coastal area or when there is a huge chemical um, uh, ion is there, how this concrete will behave, that is the durability of the concrete. That means with the time, how concrete is react to um, with the environment and how long it can be withstand, that is the durability. Now, durability ke saath nominal cover ka kya relation hai? रिलेशन है मान लो कि ये जितना भी हम ट्राई करेंगे तो कंक्रीट में क्या होता है जो मॉइस्चर हार्मफुल आयन लाइक क्लोराइड सल्फेट क्या होता है इट पेनिट्रेट इनसाइड द कंक्रीट नाउ अभी ये कितना पेनिट्रेट हो सकता है तो उसके हिसाब से हमको ये नॉमिनल कवर देना पड़ता है क्यों if it is uh, come across to the contact with the reinforcement, then the corrosion will start. And if it is corrosion will start, the volume of the reinforcement will increase. So what will happen? Stress develop. Hoga. Stress development will happen. Our concrete will crack. Aega, concrete will break. Ho sakta hai. Our durability or the concrete will not be affected. So what do we need to give this nominal cover for durability? Ke liye dena hai. What is the requirement of durability? देखिए इन टेबल 16 ऑफ आई एस फोर फिफ्टी सिक्स इसमें डिफाइन किया क्या हमारा रिक्वायरमेंट है नॉमिनल कवर एज पर द ड्यूराबिलिटी रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ इफ यू वांट टू नो अबाउट मोर अबाउट ड्यूराबिलिटी व्हाट इज ड्यूराबिलिटी व्हाट इज द फैक्टर इफेक्ट्स इन ड्यूराबिलिटी व्हाट इज द टेस्ट ऑफ ड्यूराबिलिटी आई हैव मेड अ डिटेल वीडियो लिंक इज देयर और इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज चेक यू विल गेट फुल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द ड्यूराबिलिटी ऑफ द कंक्रीट नाउ इट इज सेइंग दैट एक्सपोजर कंडीशन माइल्ड मॉडरेट सीवियर वेरी सीवियर एक्सट्रीम नाउ व्हाट इज दिस एक्सपोजर कंडीशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंक्रीट लोकेशन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द concrete position then we find out what is the exposure condition suppose a concrete is in a coastal area so it will be in the extreme condition or in suppose it is extreme hot or extreme cold then it will be defined as a extreme and then it is a very severe severe moderate milder so according to the 
condition or the environmental condition, we define the exposure condition. It is also mentioned in the table three of IS 456. You can check what is the criteria to say that whatever, whether my concrete is mild or moderate or severe exposure condition, you will find that one. But what is the nominal cover is saying 20, 30, 45, 50, 75. That means whenever the exposure condition or the environment and condition become extreme, then the nominal cover is increasing. Q extreme condition what is it? there is a high chance that ion chemical ion and the moisture can increase so that is why it is increasing to protect our reinforcement so these are the durability requirement and according to the durability requirement we need to provide the nominal cover as per is 456 another thing is fire resistance requirement that is also very much important that we need to protect our concrete from the fire so what is the requirement of fire resistance c here it is saying beams, slabs, ribs and columns. It is table 16A of IS-456. Is me kya hai? Beams me simply supported hai, continuous hai, simply supported, continuous. So these are the condition. And if I need fire resistance for two hours, we need to provide 40 mm. Here it is 35 mm. Here is 40 mm. So what is my structure and what is my fire resistance capacity? As per this, we need to provide the nominal cover to my concrete. So, how much fire resistance do we और उसी के हिसाब से मेरा जो structure है beam, slab, ribs, columns, उसको मेरे को इतना minimum nominal cover देना पड़ेगा to withstand our structure whenever if any fire happens in the buildings or any other project. So, we need to provide this minimum fire resistance and the durability requirement for the nominal cover. So what we cover already, the no, what is nominal cover and what is the purpose of nominal cover, what is the durability requirement and what is the fire resistance requirement. So I hope this clear about the nominal cover. Next, next part is my, what is the effective cover. Now, I understand that the nominal cover is the clear distance in between concrete surface and the outer face of the link. Now, what is this effective cover it is coming? Let's see. It is the distance from the surface to the center of the uh, main reinforcement. That means it is the distance from the center concrete surface to the center of the main reinforcement. How we can define that one? Let's check here. See. Here is the main reinforcement and it is the center of the main reinforcement and this is the outer face of the concrete cover. So from outer face of the concrete cover to main reinforcement, this is the effective cover. So kya ho gaya? Main reinforcement ka center se outer face of concrete ka jitna distance hai, isko bolte hai effective cover. Now here you can see nominal cover kya ho tha? Mero links ka outer face se concrete ka outer face. Now mada effective cover kya jada ho gaya? Main reinforcement ka center line se concrete ka outer face. So these are the effective cover. Now what is the purpose of effective cover? That is used in structural design calculation to determine the lever arm and the moments and forces. These are requirements for the design of RCC building or the structure, the moment and other forces. All are determined from this effective cover. So what will be the example? If the beam has an effective cover 50 mm, it includes both the clear cover, link bar dia and half of the diameter of the main bar. So suppose mera nominal cover hai 30, 30 mm and my link is 8 mm and my me, me, main reinforcement is 20 mm. So 30 plus 8 uh, that will be 38 plus half of this bar that is 10 mm that will be 48. So my nominal cover is 30 but my effective cover is 48. So these are the difference from the nominal cover and the effective cover. Now there is another term we, are, we already discussed that is effective depth. What is effective depth? Effective depth is distance from the extreme compression fiber to the center of the tensile reinforcement. Now we need to understand. So whenever any beam or any structure is subject to external load, uh, some area is become that in tension and in the compression. So what is saying in tensile zone, we provide the tensile reinforcement that is to withstand the tensile uh, uh, load, whatever it is coming into the project uh, structure. Why? Because we, our concrete is very much stronger in compression, but very much weak in tension. In order to withstand the tension, we introduce reinforcement in the tensile zone. So 
in combination, ten, the reinforcement are taking tensile force and concrete is taking compression force. And as a combination, it becomes a rigid member. But what is happened? The reinforcement, whenever this beam or any structure is subject to external load, the extra, uh, tensile and compression force is applied on this. Now, here you say is the effect cover. Now, what you saying the distance from the extreme compression fiber. Here it, we can see here is a tensile zone and it is a compression zone. So what will be the extreme compression fiber? That is the top of the structure of the top of the beam or top of the slab, whatever. From these two effective cover that the center of the main reinforcement is called the tensile reinforcement is called the effective depth. So from the, if the total height of the beam is 300 and effective cover is 50, then effective depth will be 250. Again, what is the from the compression member to the center of the main reinforcement? That is effective depth and it is effective cover and it is the nominal cover. Why this effective depth again uh, we need to know it is the purpose that critical for calculating the moment and resistance of the structural performance. So whenever we are designing the RCC structure this effective depth is very much important we need to understand and we need to calculate the forces and tensile and accordingly we need to design our structure. So we already covered the nominal cover effective cover in effective depth. Now in the side itself it is very much well known that is the clear cover whenever we are asking anybody oh it's side what is the clear cover so we need to know what is the clear cover and now where, where it is mentioned in the clear cover uh really i don't find anywhere in the code that clear cover is mentioning in, in the code it's mentioning the clear cover but in the code i didn't find if you find please let me know where it is mentioned clear cover but from the definition we can find out what is clear cover clear cover is the distance between the surface of embedded reinforcement on the outer surface of the concrete. That means from the outer face of the concrete to the outer face of the reinforcement is the clear cover. That means it is a clear there will be in this zone there will be no reinforcement. The same as the nominal cover. This cover provides protection to the river against environmental effects such as corrosion, fire and ensuring proper embedment with the concrete. So these are the definition that means this zone is free from any type of reinforcement that should be only concrete. There will be no reinforcement same as the nominal cover but in the site its nominal cover is never used it is always used the clear cover but in the code it's not mentioning here clear cover it is mentioning nominal cover so whatever clear cover the same the definition of the clear cover so in today's videos this is all and i hope you enjoy this one and if you enjoy this uh, please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and i'm waiting for your valuable comment so that from your valuable comment everybody will be benefited and if you want to know anything more about quality control and construction please let me know i'll come with more content like this and thank you once again for watching me